Let's allow it to focus again. Yes. Hey guys, we are back here the next morning after we got Roy's test results. And my test results came in about 1 o'clock this morning. That's why we look like we both just got up because, in fact, we have. <laughs> True story. True story. So, I'm so excited. Just to, sh just to tell you guys a little bit about our guesses because we told you the guesses in his video. Here are my guesses. The guesses for my DNA. Um, Let's see here. Uh, oh, 75%. Um, African, primarily Senegal, Congo, Cameroon, 20% European, primarily UK and uh, France, and 5% other, we're thinking, she was thinking um, maybe like Amerindian, Asian, Pacific Island, or I don't know, something. And then Roy thought that he would be, that I would be 75% African, 15% European, so UK, French, Spain, and 10% Indigenous American. Yeah. So, let's see these results, shall we? Yep. Ah! The truth will be revealed. <laughs> <laughs> Why you said it's just like an announcement or something? That's what I was going for. Okay. <laughs> the dramatics. Yeah. Okay. So let me see. Oh, whoa. See so some stuff. Okay. Um. Okay. Show ten more regions. Whoa! Oh my god! <laughs> Y'all, I am like African, African. Y'all want to know my percentage of African? We were both like way off. Way like, off. Way off. Way off. I am 91% African, bruh. Oh my goodness. I am 27% from the Ivory Coast and Ghana. Wow. Wow, I need I need a moment. Wow. No, that's okay. Do you want me to take over or you got um, it? Um yeah, Ivory Coast and Ghana. Um I'm also eighteen percent Benin Togo, sixteen percent Cameroon Congo, nine percent uh from Senegal. And 9% from Nigeria. So I'm a Ghana girl. Wow. wow. <laughs> that, and 91%, I was not expecting that much. I really was not. Wow. Um, oh, don't forget the little low comp. Um, uh, the low confidence regions were Mali, about 5%. So Mali and, and Guinea. And then we have Southeastern Bantu, so that's Kenya, Namibia, Botswana, that area. That's about 5%. And then we have the uh, Central Africa, so uh, Congo, Botswana, that little area. I am 8% 8 European. Like this is, listen, I actually have only seen one other person with African that high on YouTube. Like literally. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. Like everybody else gets around like 80, 85. 80, yeah. Or, yeah like. Um, but I am 8% European. So here is where my stuff comes. 4% Great Britain. Oh, let's go back to Africa. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. So I was spot on because I guessed Senegal, Congo, Cameroon. And that is like, like the top three of the four choices that I got. I did not guess Ivory Coast, Ghana. My husband guessed Ghana and Congo, so he got that spot on. But I got the other three. Okay, now we can go on to um, European. Wow. That's something. And, um, I, and, I, like, and I, there's something too, like your combo is like different. From mine. Yeah, like my bit. combo is like almost completely different from his. So I'm like most of the most of my folks came from Nigeria. Most of hers came, came from, from Ghana. Ghana, wow. Um, 
And so let's go to Europe. Europe, we both were way off. It was yeah. very low. I said twenty yeah. percent. I was trying to accommodate for history, all that good you stuff. Know. Um, my husband was closer. He said fifteen percent, but it's only eight yes. percent. Four percent of it comes from Great Britain. Two percent comes from Finland, North Russia. That see again that that's almost seems kind of random. I mean, I didn't think anyone with that kind of heritage. That's interesting. You know, came to America like that. And then some uh one percent from the Iberian Peninsula, so Spain, Portugal. My husband picked Spain. And then about one percent from Ireland, Ireland, Wales, and Scotland. That is interesting. And then they picked up 1% Native American. Now, this is interesting because I know my great-grandmother was a Native uh, Native American, Indigenous American. Same I, one, right? Uh, I, I, I forget. I have to ask my father. But I, re, I, I have her picture. And she's sitting in a chair with these two long braids that hit the ground. So it is interesting to me that she barely showed up as 1% in my DNA. Um, but you know, with as strong as the African presence is in my blood, wow. that's probably why. I am, I'm, uh, wow, I am like 90% African. So I have my my bloodline um, is uh, very very strong. It has a very strong link to to Africa, and I I want to learn more because obviously um, my heritage has a a very strong lineage, and I, it may mean that you know when uh, maybe during the slave trade, my ancestors when they were taken. Um, Maybe they were taken later. Maybe they were in some group or uh, some group of. Um, well, like in the Caribbean, maybe. Or? Maybe in the Caribbean. Maybe in like, uh, cause I'm also from. My, I was born in Georgia. My family is primarily in Florida, but I do know. Uh, I remember being told that they came down from Georgia to Florida. Oh well, um, yeah, like some of your folks are from South Carolina, right? Yeah, so like the Geechee like area, Gitche, the, the Low Country. That may be, you know, that may be an explanation for my sh very strong African roots. Um, wow. This, mine is a, a little more shocking. I gotta say, mine, I wasn't expecting this. Yeah, we didn't think the number was that high. Well, I mean, we're not, like, we're proud of it, definitely. Yeah, but, I really am. Wow. I'm proud of it, but I, for me, I just, I would have never thought that it would be that I literally have never seen anybody with results this high. Yeah, I know. Like this is this is almost comparable with like you know continental Africans having this robust. Of yeah, percentage. like you know Africa. Like I've I've watched videos where you know Africans will you know take their um, Africans will take their test, and some of them have you know higher percentages, but. Few, like they'll they'll be about eighty percent, maybe eighty five percent, and then there'll be a Middle Eastern or you know Caucasus area, a mixture of that, you know, in the Northern African regions, you know, where that uh, land is located. Um, I'm sh I'm 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 still in shock. Um, I won't keep you guys long, and I have some research to do because. I am, what is it, Ghanaian or Ghanaian? Ghanaian. 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 I got some research to do, and I got to call my parents. We got to get this, like, yeah, they're going to be maybe shocked. Maybe we can plan to visit something yeah, real soon. Yeah, I know. We got to visit Nigeria, and we got to visit Ghana. Which, they're, they're very close. Yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you have enjoyed um this uh journey with us and we are very shocked by our results um but we hope you guys enjoy it go to um ancestry.com try their dna kit i promise you that you will be surprised um you know and it's a bit overwhelming but in a good way i don't have any um close relatives but it says i have lots oh first cousin 
I know it's BC. Wait, I have a first cousin. I just lied. I hit a first cousin. I hit a second cousin. Wow. I had a few second cousins. Wow. Um, and some, and once third you hit the third and fourth cousins, it just pops up a lot. So I have some calling to do for my parents, finding more about my heritage and my, um, obviously some new relatives. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, um, wow, this is, this is amazing. So thank you guys for watching. Um, and we may be back with the comparison video overall and our experience with um, Ancestry.com DNA kits. Bye. Bye.